Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be sort of different. I've been getting into a lot of Lego custom making and I'm going to have a whole bunch of more Lego type videos coming out in the future. Um, I'm working on the Hoth mock. I am going to be making a video each week about that. And I've been making custom Lego minifigures too. So I think that that's really cool. And today I'm going to be working on this one right here. Just a normal Lego minifigure that I'm going to be custom painting for y'all. I'm going to show you how to paint. Um, really when you sh should be doing this, you should use really small tipped paint brushes um and yeah I found these at Michael's all of this stuff I've got from Michael's um so just go there um they have these paint brushes really cheap so are the paint um this paint is Testor's um this paint is very good on plastic and it sticks very well. I can show you some of my figures that I have made. It sticks very well. And I just spent maybe an hour and 30 minutes on this guy right here. And he has custom um, pads right here, shoulder pads, knee pads, and a belt piece that's custom too. And the helmet, if I take that off, I feel is really cool too. So I'm going to do a time lapse to show you this. You can see those guys out in the distance. I'm going to do a time lapse showing you what this looks like um of course I'm going to be using because I like these guys to be my 501st team I'm going to be using dark blue right here test doors shake it up really good and then I'm going to be using grape because of course dark purple is my favorite color so First thing you always want to do is to make an outline of what you want. So I'm going to take the helmet, sort of find or make an outline on the helmet. I have to know what I want to do before I actually start. So what I'm thinking is let me see a little bit of design and then Two stripes on the face and a design right there but anyways now oh I got to design the chest piece so I think I'm what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a simple design I'm going to paint that chest piece right there he does have a broken hand. Um, and I'm going to do stripe going down on the legs right there and right there. And I think stripe on there.
and a stripe on here. Alright, so I'm going to do that and that, and let's get right into the time lapse. All right, guys, so that is the end of me painting this trooper. It's still a bit wet, but I can put the helmet on to show you what he looks like. This is a advanced 501st. Probably tell because it has purple on it. 501st is usually just blue. Got the back. This guy is definitely really cool. That will be added to the collection. And also, really, all I use is a Chipotle, um, the top of a Chipotle um, burrito bowl to get the custom armor pieces. That's all you really have to do. And then the fabric, I just got some random fabric from my house, just found it somewhere. And then you can get a tip, but really um, a fine tip um, Sharpie would be really helpful because when you're painting and you're drawing your lines, you do also want to see that Sharpie mark because you can see that there's black outlines of where the, um, where the detail is on their armor. So that could help too. So yeah, guys, if you like that video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.